Hi, I've been learning Persian for five months with an Asimil book and today I want to make a review of it. Let's get started. So this is the Asimil book. I've just covered it myself and put some stickers on it so it looks fancier because the original cover, I think it doesn't look that nice. So this is the um, Asimil from German to Persian. Um, I live in Germany so it was for me easier to find the book in German but I guess you also have it in English at least and in French so since it's um, Persian the, they use the Arabic alphabets you have here a summary of the alphabet I put here a bookmark so when I have to um, check the letters when I'm not sure what it is then I can go back here and um, look all the letters so the book starts uh, from the end you go to the end to start the lectures since you read it from right to left on um, with arabic script so you here have the first lecture so you have the they it's i find it nice that they explain each letter during the first uh, i guess 10 or 20 lectures so each time they present your new letters and later on they explain you what they are so don't panic if you don't know anything but it's also it might also be good idea to watch a youtube video that um, that presents all the letters that teach you all the arabic scripts um, beforehand so the first lectures are easier you just have a few sentences on this side you have the persian um, sentences so here you also see how to pronounce it so mat mat amit mat ab dot so you there's also audio recording you can read along and listen to the audio um on this side then you have the translation so for each um, sentence it, it feels like a bit duolingo but unfortunately there is no Persian on Duolingo so it might be a good alternative here you also see numbers so one two three here um, anmerkung as a here are the explanations so you you get some grammar points but they don't um, they don't drown you in all grammar rules they just give you some mm, some hints so when you go when you pr yeah, when you make progress in each lecture then you get more grammar uh, hints so here in the first lectures they present you the new letters and you get the whole explanation for the for the script later on you don't get these explanations when they are done with the whole alphabet and here you have again some exercise like translation exercise and here you have to uh, fill in the blanks that kind of exercise and then when you are done with the first lecture then you go with the second they always have the same structure actually so when you go um, when you have done at least seven lectures you have a summary here you have a review and summary of the all uh, grammar points and the near letters i found it really nice so i put um, to each uh, review uh, section a bookmark so when i want to review the the lectures then i just go back here i don't have to go through the whole book then i just read a few pages then i i'm done with it so here when you when you go forward you have the second review you also get the whole um, grammar uh, points from the previous lectures if you realize when you progress then you you started to you started to get more sentences and more vocabulary and that's nice um, from the first lecture you you get the 
you get a few vocabulary and when you make progress you build on this vocabulary so you don't uh, get the feeling that oh my god what what are these words um just you you feel also the progress yourself that you have made so and i'm not done with the book yet but there are 83 lectures i will check it again if i if i one day manage to finish this book then i will able to, hopefully i will be able to read all these things and a quick check oh sorry 86 lectures there are so that was a quick review of the book if you have more questions you can put it in the comments thanks for watching see you next time